although we are definitely seeing an improvement in, uh, in outcomes in terms of tuberculosis, we are also starting to see uh, issues such as drug-resistant tuberculosis. And that is a direct consequence uh, of, of treatment regimens that have been ineffective. There's two aspects to why drug resistance emerges. The first is wholly about the patient and the, the relationship between the patient and the clinician. So it's the drugs that are given and whether the patient has, has been given drugs which are going to work and whether they're the right drugs and then whether the patient is able to take those in the way that we uh, require them to. So it might be that the drugs make them feel ill so they don't want to take them. Or it might be that the patient is leading a chaotic lifestyle and so isn't able to take the drugs on a regular basis. So that's what my clinician colleagues focus on. They have to manage that process. What I'm interested in and what my team look at is the evolution of drug resistance or how it emerges in, in, at a biological level for the bug itself. And for me it's a question of almost compartments. So TB is tucked away within the host, within the patient, so it's tucked away. It's a difficult site to get drugs to. And if you're going to, drug resistance develops when you, when you treat an organism with not enough of the compound. So not enough drug is getting to the bug. So if you're tucked away in a compartment within the patient where the drug isn't going to get to you, then you're already giving a suboptimal dose of the drug. So the compounds that we use have to get over those barriers.